how do we feed 8 billion people? The facility here is actually uh, uh, world-class or considered world-class with respect to um, cool and cold water aquaculture. We typically have at least three or four students here from Greece or Germany, Norway, you name it. So we've, we've had quite a number of folks from all over. Well, the Aquaculture Research Institute has campus facilities as well as facilities in Hagerman. The campus facilities are aimed at catering to any fisheries research needs that might be here or elsewhere where we can cater to faculty that are doing fisheries work. The prestige that we have here is another level, okay? There is no comparison between University of Idaho and Aquaculture Research Institute. To have in your CV, in your curriculum vitae, that you were here and you were studying under Dr. Hardy is opening the doors all over the world, and that is the fact. Vaccinating a fish, a lot of people don't realize that you can actually do that and protect them from a disease episode down the road. We had to develop a vaccine where you could actually dip the fish into the vaccine and then remove them from that and they would develop an immune response. We've just recently um, been working with a large pharmaceutical company and uh, have signed a sponsored research agreement with them to complete some of the optimization work for the vaccine that will hopefully bring it to allow it to get USDA license and bring it to commercialization um, so it can be marketed and sold. The work that we do here is the same thing that people in China, the people in, in Chile, the people in Australia, and everywhere else are facing. It's the exact same problem. So when we solve a problem here, it translates to helping solve those problems, same problems around the world. So how do we feed 8 billion people? Just to meet the demand of the population by 2050, aquaculture will have to grow by over 50%. The reason that folks come here to study and whatnot is because we have the leading edge on the, on the molecular side and the physiological side and the nutrition side. There's a reason why those folks come here and want to learn the techniques that we've developed here. <laughs>